Now let's add some materials. I'm going to select the tabletop. I'm going to right click, go down to assign new material, and I'm going to go all the way to the top and select blend. Now I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to leave it like it is. The glass, I'm going to right click, go down to assign new material, but this time I'm going to select MIA underscore material. Now over here in the attribute editor, there's two tabs. I'm going to click on this right tab, this Maya underscore material one node. I'm going to under click on presets and go down to glass thick and then over to replace. Now I'm going to create a light. So I have a material on our table, a material for the glass. Now I need a light. It's going to be kind of hard to render if there's no light. So I'm going to go to my rendering tab on my shelf and let's do a point light. No, let's do a let's do a spotlight. I'm going to click on the spotlight. Now, to make this easier to make some adjustments, I'm going to press the number 7 on my keyboard. Everything goes dark, but it allows me to see what my light is doing. Now I'm going to press the letter T. It gives me two handles. One handle is my light. The other handle is where the light's pointing to. So, if I was at a kitchen table or somewhere, the lights would be kind of up high on the ceiling or on an overhang or something. So I'm going to pull that up high. And since we're going to, I'll render it from this angle. I don't know why, but I always like rendering from, from left to right. So I'm going to pull my light over to where the camera's going to be that we're looking through. And I'll make a few settings in the attribute editor. We're using a spotlight. So I'm going to go down and take where it says no decay for the decay rate. I'm going to change it to linear. Now our light kind of went really dark in our scene, so we just got to bump up the intensity quite a bit. So let's try 200. Uh, maybe 300. That could be a little too bright, so let's try 250. That's probably good. We might have to go brighter, but we'll just stick with 250 for now. Now, the light's not very wide, so I'm going to go to the cone angle, and I'm just going to spread that out so it lights up our whole table. There we go. One last thing is let's turn some shadows on. I'm going to go to the shadows. I'm going to expand that. And we'll use ray tracing. Now, ray tracing kind of takes a while. Light radius, oh, we could leave it at zero. I'll leave it, at, I'll bump it up to make it a little softer. Shadow rays. Now, the more rays you have, the better your shadow is going to look. But if you get too high, it's going to take a long time to render. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it, let's say, 16. I'm kind of tempted to put it up to 32, but we'll just do 16. Ray depth, uh, I'll put it 4. That shouldn't be too bad. And let's do a test render. Kind of zoom in on our glass. And I'm going to go up and hit the render button. It's actually going faster than I was expecting it to. It's almost done. Well, I thought maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> and there, oh, okay. That's why. All right. Right now the glass looks black. That's not what I was intending. It should be clear. If you look at the shadow on the table, it's clear. The reason why it's black is probably because I didn't put the setting on a high quality render. It's probably on a really low quality render. So I'm going to keep that picture for now. So I'm going to click this air, down arrow, this button. It's got like a down arrow going inside of a box. All it is is kind of like saving the picture in this window. It's not saving on your hard drive, so if you close out my, it's gone. But I just want to keep it there for now. So let's pull our render settings back up. Quality tab. And yep, right now it's on draft. That's why it's black. So let's go up to production, close, and now let's re-render that out. Now this is probably going to take a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause, and then I'll bring it back once it's rendered. Now there's our there's our render. 
So those settings were not too bad. You could actually go in and tweak it and make it a, make it a lot better, but that's uh, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.